On the Joe Rogan Experience, anthropologist Dr. Michael Masters claimed that humans can change sex through a disorder in which females turn into males at puberty. That conclusion is false. The disorder does exist, but it does not involve sex change. So let's examine Masters' claims with scientific evidence. First, he claims that some isolated island populations have a condition where they all grow up as female until puberty transforms some of them into males. You know, there's actually this, uh, in a small island in the Pacific, they have this weird um, characteristic where they start out as females, so they grow up their entire life as girls, and then at puberty they turn into a boy. So they get raised as girls? They are girls. They're physically girls. But they have girls. penises. Not yet. Nope. This disorder is known as 5-alpha reductase deficiency, 5-ARD, common in certain parts of the world such as the Dominican Republic. But affected individuals do not begin as females. It is a male-only disorder of sex development. In the womb, affected males develop testes like normal, but cannot complete the growth of their penis and scrotum because they are unable to produce DHT due to an enzyme deficiency. DHT is a potent testosterone required for the development of the male's penis and scrotum and descent of the testes. Without it, males are born with external genitalia that is underdeveloped. At puberty, the surge of testosterone from their testes is sufficient to cause masculinization of their external genitalia and body, with some experiencing descent of the testes and development of the penis and scrotum. These males were never females. 2. He claims that the disorder is caused by insensitivity to DHT. They don't until puberty because they're not sensitive to dihydrotestosterone. No, their androgen receptors work normally. This is why they can masculinize at puberty when the testes create a surge of testosterone. The problem is that the body cannot produce enough DHT during fetal development for their external genitalia. This is an enzyme production issue, not a receptor failure. 3. He claims that their ovaries descend and become testes at puberty. What? Exactly like girls. They are girls. And then the ovaries descend as testicles and the clitoris grows out into a penis. But these males never had ovaries. They have the SRY gene, which causes the bipotential gonads to differentiate into testes. This does not happen during puberty. This happens at six weeks gestation. Failure of the testes to descend does not make them ovaries. 4. He then claims that they transform into the opposite sex at puberty. You think puberty is hard enough already? These people turn into the opposite sex at age like 12 or 13. That's wild, man. But no sex change occurs. These individuals are male for life. At puberty, they simply continue along the male pathway through further developing their external genitals. This is not a sex change. Humans are gonochoric, where individuals are either male or female for life. 5. He claims this condition is called pseudohermaphroditism. It's an island in the South Pacific. It's called pseudohermaphroditism. It's what? Weird. I know, I learned about this in grad so school. No, it's called 5-alpha reductase deficiency because it's a deficiency in the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. Medicine has abandoned the use of the term pseudohermaphrodite since the early 2000s because it conflates distinct conditions, making it, quote, scientifically specious and clinically problematic. 6. He claims that natural selection doesn't impact it. It doesn't do anything. It's not something natural selection would select against. It's just weird as shit. But 5-ARD profoundly impacts fertility. First, low DHT can impair the growth and differentiation of sperm cells and the growth of the prostate, causing them to have a prostate that is one-tenth the healthy size. Small prostates mean that semen volumes are low, harming sperm transport and motility. Second, undescended testes can also disrupt the careful balance of temperature for sperm creation. 7. Finally, Masters claims that we all start out as females. Everybody does. We all start out as females in utero, and then maleness is imposed on the developing fetus. No, we all start genetically sexed and physically undifferentiated before genetics drive us down either pathway. See our video debunking we all begin female for a concise explanation, and our longer animated video for a thorough deep dive. In conclusion, individuals with 5ARD are male from conception with testes and the SRY gene. The disorder only affects the production of DHT, leaving external genitals underdeveloped. At puberty, the surge of testosterone from the testes causes masculinization of the genitals. Therefore, this condition is an example of a male disorder, not a sex change. 
Now, I presented the above scientific evidence to Masters in a post on X. He responded to me with a BBC article describing how such males are brought up as girls and appear to have a vagina. And then he said, quote, This is true. No false claims involved. Perhaps some details were missed, as I am not a self-proclaimed science educator in the biology of sex, but this is how it was explained to me in graduate school. Appreciate the troll, though. To which I responded, Not a troll. It's a scientific rebuttal of false claims about a disorder using in-text scientific papers. The goal is to help educate others and stop the spread of misinformation about people with disorders of sex development, whose care is often harmed by false info. For more info on 5ARD, see our animation on the topic, along with our new book, The Sex Development Handbook, which covers 25 of these disorders with elegant diagrams and accessible commentary for a wide audience. Links are in the description. And if you'd like to support our work of restoring reality to science education, please consider donating at theparadoxinstitute.org. Your contribution funds the production and distribution of our educational media. We also have a new book written by Cynthia Brandy. This one is a children's book called It All Begins With Two, The Egg, The Sperm, and The Start of You. It is completely age-appropriate, beautiful illustrations, and you'll want to pick this one up for teaching your kids about the two sexes, and where life comes from.